My guy is called Andy, Andy Hertzfeld. And Andy was one of the original members of the Mac team. He was invited in early on at that time uh, uh, to specialize in certain aspects of the Mac programming. And um, uh, he lingers on in our story as a friend uh, to Steve and to Chris Ann, someone who's been in their lives, and to Joanne. He maintains a friendship with them over the course of years, and I think that's why Aaron chose to include him in this particular story, is that he provides a kind of levity and some insight into uh, some aspects of Steve's character that we don't necessarily get to see with the other people. You know, with all the whirlwinds that are being uh, thrust at him, uh, he's the eye of the hurricane, so to speak, and he's handling it with such tremendous aplomb and and lightness, and you know, his ability to be able to balance um, everything that's needed from him is 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 wonderful to watch and he makes it look really easy and that's been remarkable to see as well wow. Danny's a surprise every day you never know what he's gonna say where he's gonna move he seems to be a million miles ahead of me in particular but uh, he knows in a very deep way, I think the kind of story he wants to tell and is at the same time he's surprising himself and he's learning about the story as it goes on. I think Andy understands Steve on such a deep level that in some cases, like friends can do, if they know you well enough, they can help you from perhaps making indelible mistakes in your lives. Andy anticipates that Steve, through stubbornness, might mess up his relationship with his daughter. And as a result of that, he jumps ahead and helps them out financially, knowing full well that he may get in trouble by Steve, or Steve's certainly not going to like it. Yet at the same time, knowing that they will make up with each other, that uh, Something needs to be done immediately, and he does it. And I think he's okay with dealing with the consequences of that. This is not a traditional biopic in the sense that it starts from when somebody is born and takes them to the end of their life. It really focuses on pivotal moments in Steve's life. And as such, it takes you through the story as opposed to educating you in a linear fashion. You get thrown into it emotionally and you find yourself having a great time watching these people drive themselves nuts most of the time. And uh, I think you experience who they were by being thrown into the action as opposed to being uh, subject to having it explained.